Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got a Middle Eastern fragrance haul. So whenever I do a fragrance haul, whether it be Middle East, whether it be Westernized stuff, I always ask for recommendations based on fragrances that I'd done in the haul. And Middle Eastern ones, because I do so many, I've had lots of recommendations. And all four fragrances that we're looking at today have all been recommended to me by my subscribers. So really excited to show you, really excited to try them as well. Um, as you know, I'm in the process of moving at the moment. You might be able to see some of my boxes of fragrances piled up there um, it's horrendous I'm really struggling for content at the moment um, I've got a few fragrances which I'm testing to do some reviews on and I've got some Middle Eastern on the way as well so we should have another fragrance all soon but the four that I've got today I've got two Ardal Zafran and two Latafa now, it's said that Ardal Zafran is a trading company of Latafa. How true that is, I don't know. Um, it's very difficult to find these things out. Some people have told me that. I've mentioned it before. Then other people have told me, no, it's a separate entity. Who knows? I haven't got a clue, to be fair. But anyway, we'll kick into the two Ardal Zafrans first. And the first one that was recommended is one called Mifkal, M-I-T-H-Q-A-L. Now, just look at that, how gorgeous that looks. So I'm really interested to try this. It was on one of my recent videos that someone recommended it. And I always try and follow up the recommendations the problem is with some recommendations, I can't always um, source where to get them from. Um, the people that are commenting, they might be from a different country, um, or they might have places to get them from which I'm not aware of. This I managed to pick up off eBay, and it cost me £14.99 for a 100ml EDP. As you can see, the badge on it is excellent. I love the eagles either side on like a gold plaque. But even the rest of it looks really nice. Um, got some stuff on the back, some ingredients. Got a little hologram in the corner. We got the Ardal Zafran badge in the top. And then some details on the bottom, including made in UAE. So let's take a look at the bottle. If the front's anything to go by, the bottle is going to be special. And yes, it looks nice. It looks very nice indeed. So just looking at that, that looks amazing. How good does that look? juice is a bit dark I love this on the side this plaque on the side with the name it's got it both sides love that and I love the cap absolutely gorgeous nice squared off bottle not much going on in the bottom but that badge is ace I love the eagles on it be interested to know what Mifcal means if someone can Drop it in the comments what Mifcal means. It's quite um plastic cap, but it does a job. So let's give this a spray. I am wearing something because I'm testing something at the moment, so I'm gonna have to spray it onto paper. Oh, that's a beautiful pressurized sprayer. So straight away, in the air I'm getting a real 
fruity, floral sort of vibe from it. That is stunning. So it's quite sweet. Very fruity, I'm loving the fruitiness. There's florals in there. I'd say there's rose, but it's not like a really strong rose. It's quite sparkly. This is proper unisex, I reckon. Maybe even leaning a little bit more feminine. Musky. I don't like fruits in this, but it's really, it's like a tropical sort of vibe. That is really, really nice. I'd definitely go spring, summer. But I wouldn't say it's a, a light scent, although it's fruity and it's sparkly. I think there's enough gourmand to which could take it into early spring, um, late autumn. That's beautiful. Really, really nice. Happy with that one. So that was amazing, absolutely love that one. Um, and the next one that I've picked up. Now, Oud 24 Hours, I've got that. It's a take on Tom Ford's Black Orchid. There are slight differences, but it's, um, it's had a lot of hype. I really enjoy it, and I enjoy it more now than when I first tried it. When I first tried it, I think something like Black Orchid was a bit too much for me. Um, but I think as my nose has developed, I've appreciated it more and I've appreciated more, um, how could you put it, which are leaning a bit more feminine. I appreciate those a lot more. So when someone mentioned Oud 24 Hours again, but then said there was a version called Majestic Gold, I just had to get it. So I managed to pick this up. This is a 100ml EDP. And I managed to pick this up from Tawakal Perfumes. I think this was 19.99. Now this is one of those that I found very difficult to get hold of. Most of the places that I use, I just couldn't find it. And in the end, I found it on this uh, Tawakal just by browsing the internet. And I had heard of Tawakal before, and I think I may have purchased something off them before, but I think it was through eBay. Like a lot of companies nowadays, they have eBay sites set up, they have Amazon sites set up. Now, I would do a comparison with Oud 24 Hours. I would compare the boxes and that, but Unfortunately, it's in one of those boxes which are all taped up. I have no idea which one. So I'll have to leave that for another time. Maybe do a video of the two if there's similarities and compare them. So this is it. Ooh, 24 hours, majestic gold. Love the detailing on that. Absolutely love it. It's got the hologram on. It's got the Ardell Zafran in the top. It's got more detail on the back. On the sides as well. And then it's got all the details on the bottom. So, really interested to try this. I was thinking, looking at the colour and looking at the U24 hours and seeing because that's more the packaging has got a lot of black and gold, which U24 hours, the actual bottle's got a lot of black and gold, as as the Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And then Black Orchid by Tom Ford have released a Parfum version, which is all gold. So now I'm thinking maybe this is gonna be the same, being as it's all gold on here. There is a bit more black there, and it's all gold inside as well. It looks gorgeous. So it's the same as the Oud 24 hours bottle, except 
all this bit on U24 hours is black with gold writing and I think it does have a gold bit there but yeah very similar bottles definitely got a lot of love and hype in the community the U24 hours but I've not seen anybody do anything with this one so very interested to try I don't know if it's going to be going in the direction of the other one or not there's the cap it's got like a, a rubber band going around it quite weighty now recently I was in the perfume shop and I smelt black orchid and black orchid parfum side by side and to be honest I couldn't tell much difference maybe I needed to wear it on skin I smelt them on strips for a while um, and then it went in my pocket that was next to each other so when they dried down it might have been a bit different but I didn't have a chance to test it properly so let's give this one a smell so it's not a pressurized sprayer on this one but still be with decent distribution I am really liking this one. So that's got a boozy feel to it. I'd say boozy, a bit of patchouli. Patchouli is one of the big loves of mine at the moment. A bit of oud. This is going a completely different direction. It's still quite dark, but I don't think there's any booziness in the other one. It has got a few florals. It's a bit sweet and it's a bit spicy. But yeah, really like it. Be interesting how this one performs because the other one is an absolute beast and just lasts forever. I'd say autumn, winter sort of fragrance. And I think this is leaning definitely more masculine. Whereas the other one was probably unisex or slightly feminine. So the florals aren't overpowering in this like they are in the Oud 24 hours. Be interesting to try that. So I was really, really happy with that one. So on to the next one. And this was recently recommended to me. Um, it's a Latafa. Now I've got Nakahat Al Oud. And this, when it turned up, which is Amwaj Al Oud, looks exactly the same box wise, apart from the name. So interested to see how this smells i do like nakahat al oud it's a really nice smelling fragrance this is a 100 ml edp and i picked it up for 14 pound 99 off ebay i think this one was from a company called oriental fragrance i'm sure i've used them before so it looks very similar i think the only difference with this to the other one i mean once again i would get it out and compare it but it's in a box somewhere but I think this is more gold where the other one was more silver. So be interesting. There is a bit of damage on the bottom of the box where it's all caved in a bit. But as you can see, Amouage Al Oud by Latafa. It's got Latafa Prestige in the top. Some more prestige in the back. Um, sides. And then on the bottom, there's just some a barcode and made in UAE. So let's have a look at this bottle. Is it a similar sort of bottle? So straight away when I tried to get it out, the cap came off. So, so it's definitely the same sort of bottle as the other one. 
I'm just real pity that I haven't got the other one at hand. So this is how it's looking. Nice like wooden effect. Got the Anwar Jalud and the Lata uh, the prestige on the bottom with the Latafa badge. Nothing going on on the back. And then as I said, it's a lightish cap. It's well, I say lightish, it has got a bit of weight in the top end of it, but you can feel the plasticness in the bottom. So let's give this one a try. That propeller spurts out quick, doesn't it? So straight away I'm getting like a rose oud sort of feel from it. Just off the top. I'm getting a peach. So it's peachy, it's woody. It's got a few spices in there. It's definitely got that rose oud feel to it, but it seems a bit more musky. Maybe with an amber base. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. I'm so looking forward to testing these out because smelling them on strip doesn't always give you the proper feel to them. Plus, like all fragrances, it develops over time and it changes when you especially, and it reacts differently on different people's skin. So really looking forward to trying that, but another hit for me. So very happy with that one too. So before I move on, I would say that's spring, summer, maybe even autumn sort of fragrance. Um, unisex again, I think peach is a sort of smell that you could smell on both men and women. Plus you got the rose oud sort of feel and the woodiness. So it's probably slightly more masculine than feminine, but I think both sexes could easily enjoy this fragrance. So let's move on to the last one. And this was recommended to me quite a while ago, um, but it is one that I've been looking at. Now, I tried to order it couple of months ago and then got it on in stock um, and the price seems to hold quite a lot on this one but when you look at it and the presentation you can probably see why this is Mahir by Latafa and it's got a horse's head in the top how gorgeous does that look now I've actually ordered the black version as well which has got a black head so I'm waiting for that one to come uh, I managed to pick this one up from Tawakal Perfumes again and this was $22.99 my normal place picking it up I haven't got it in stock so went with those again so my monster-in-law and my daughter are very much into the forces at the moment so they might be trying to pinch this off me just for decoration so look at that that is stunning it looks so good even like the the different colored black embossing on it and then the bits of gold it's got a hologram in the top. Um, nothing going on at the top of the box. It's an Eau de Parfum 100ml. And I think there's a batch code on the bottom. You might be able to just see it. And then there's a, a QR code for Latafa on the side. So let's have a look at this. I can feel it sliding out as I'm touching it. So 
look at that how amazing does that look is that tied in I think it's tied in so let's fetch this out I'm scared of breaking it Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Look how good that looks. All right, mate, why the long face? Looks gorgeous. It's got the taffa on the bottom, my hair. It's got some writing on it. I just love it. I just think it looks just absolutely stunning. There's some brilliant photos of this for Instagram. Uh, on the bottom, you've got the details again, eau de parfum, etc. So the cap, oh, this is heavy. I was expecting it to be plastic. It's definitely metal, heavy. Wow, you can hear that as well. So let's give this one a try. So I'm getting rose oud again, straight away. Rose oud, unmistakable. It's quite tangy though and sweet. So it's definitely different from a lot of rose ouds. There's spiciness in there. The florals, some muskiness. Really happy with that, another cracker. Another one that I'm really looking forward to trying and seeing how it develops the longer you wear it. But that's it. Those are my four fragrances that I picked up on this haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these and don't forget to keep those recommendations coming. It's what I need, I just, it's like, I can't see the wood for the trees sometimes looking at Middle Eastern fragrances. So if I get recommendations of good fragrances, I'll pick them up and then I'll share opening them with you. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it as usual. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.